This history lesson begins in the late 1700s when people were deathly afraid of the night air. Anxious Americans sealed their homes against the mysterious vapors that lurked in the dark. Even John Adams, our second president, believed it. In the early 1900s, before the bear population began decreasing, bear attacks were our biggest fear. This is a 1,300-pound grizzly bear wrestling with a 200-pound man. Yeah, they have huge claws, can weigh 1,500 pounds, and have a bite as powerful as a lion, but bears typically only attack when they feel threatened. God. By the 1950s, the Cold War had everyone on edge. You know how bad sunburn can feel. The atomic bomb flash could burn you worse than a terrible sunburn. In school, kids prepared for attacks by hiding under desks. First, you duck, and then you cover. In 1962, Rachel Carson published disturbing accounts of how pesticides had become elixirs of death, and that became America's number one fear. Fast forward to 1999, when Y2K had us shaking in our reboots. At the stroke of midnight, January 1st, 2000, Elevators may stop. Heat may vanish. Billions were spent to make sure our computers wouldn't crash when the calendar year turned over. This is not one of the summer movies where you can close your eyes during the scary parts. But nothing happened. And that just seemed to encourage our growing addiction to tech because now the number one fear in America? Nomophobia. What it refers to is a fear or anxiety of losing one's cell phone because that means you lose connection to those around you and to information that we're used to getting instantly. From night air, bears and nukes, to not having your cell phone, those are our fears through the years on The Lowdown.